everybody and welcome back to Outdoor Gear. I'm Aaron Bottoms and today we're going to be reviewing something that's very useful in my opinion. It's something I keep on hand, something I keep in the boat all year long, or at least in, during duck season. Um, it's great for camping, hunting, ice fishing, fishing in general, or if your power goes out. If you know what I'm talking about, you probably read the description or read the title of the video, but today we're reviewing the Mr. Heater. This is a portable heater that you can take hunting, fishing, camping. I, I think you should have one in your house in case the power goes out and it's cold outside. You need something quick and easy, something that you can put in the house or outside. It's a great product, and, but we're gonna go through it with an unbiased kind of opinion here. There's some upsides, some downsides. I use this pretty regularly, so I'm pretty comfortable with the product itself, um, but let's get into it. All right, so right out the box, got your instructions, of course, and then, ah, it's in there pretty good. Uh, you've got your heater, standard box, and your protection. So we got the gray edition just because it seems to be the most popular one out there. It's pretty standard. You just where your heat comes from. When you put your bottle right here on the side here, you go ahead and push that in. Right down here in the bottom is where you got your pilot light. You click that, you hear it click. That's gonna uh, cause a spark. So when you have propane going through, it catches on and then you hold that down till the whole thing goes up and then you switch it over to low, which I think puts out about 4,000 BTU or high, which puts out about 9,000 BTU. Now this product is very simple, very straightforward. I got our little fresh propane tank here that we're gonna put on it. Take the cap off. And you've got just that little point right there, which I think you can get a, a larger connector for if you wanna put a full propane tank on it, run it longer. So you just push it on, screws on there. Well, it's supposed to. Get the threads catch, which these are having issues catching. And the whole point of this is to show you what this product is like, fresh out the box, just the way it is, and they're not making it out to be anything more than it is. And right now, it's being difficult to put a propane tank on. There it goes. All right, finally. All right, so now you got your propane tank on. It's very simple. Switch it over to pilot. You push down till it catches light. You hold on to that. If you can let go and the pilot stays on, which it is, you switch it over to low. And the front of the furnace will catch on, or light. And it holds right there on that white section there. When it's cold outside, it turns red. You can see the, the heat coming off of it. Um, these are great. They put out a little bit of heat out front, but like everything else, heat rises. So most of your heat's going to be on the top right here. So like I said, this is great to be used for a personal use. Um, I keep one in the boat. Actually, I keep two in the boat and a big heater. Um, and these are great if I'm just going out by myself and I just need a little warmth. I put that on if I'm taking my niece or nephew out. They can put that next to them, keep them nice and toasty and warm. Like I said, most of the heat's going to go straight up. So you got a lot of heat up here. Uh, that's the downside is you got it doesn't have a blower so it's not going to push heat out it's not meant for wide open spaces it's meant for more something that's closed off something where you can put it inside and it'll heat kind you know a small space really um but really it's just it's for personal use you know so there's not much to it it's very simple uh, it's got nice plastic on the side we'll see how that holds up here soon it's got thin metal on the back it's got a decent grade on it um it'll withstand some torture i've left them outside before and we'll, we'll go through some tests like that but really it's pretty straightforward and simple it's an easy easy product to work with e-design um and it lights up pretty easily so that's on the low you can switch it to high again I've got, you can feel heat right here. Right here, you've got a little bit. So you, you 
move out about a foot, you're you're losing a lot of heat. Um, so you got to stay close to these things. Obviously, you don't want to get too close, but right here, it's not too hot. It's nice and warm. Up here, you got some heat. If you can see my hand up there, that's probably about two foot high. So going over the main product itself, this bar in the front is pretty pretty solid. It's not going to come off on you very easily. Um, the plastic itself is nice and sturdy. It feels like good plastic on the sides. It's got a nice sturdy handle. Um, on the back, you've got two mounting brackets where you can put a screws in the wall and just hang it up if you need to. So if you got like a hut or something or a tree stand, you want to take it in the tree stand, hang it up. It's good to go. Um, a very good thing on this is the safety feature. So pilot light, turn it on. A couple clicks, let the pilot light catch. We're going to put it on low. So if you've got a child or you're clumsy, whatever it is, it's got a nice safety feature. So if you knock it over, it cuts off automatically. You're not going to have liquid propane spilling into it and igniting it, catching it and sending flares up um, or anything like that. It's got recommendations on the side here. So this is made to be indoor or outdoor. So if you have it in a small bathroom, you put it on low. If you have it on the bedroom, you put it on high. And that's going to give you 4,000 in the bathroom, 9,000 in the bedroom. It's made to heat up small spaces. It's not going to do great outside. Um, like I said, on my boat, if I have the boat blind up or we're sitting in the duck blind, it's great for one person, personal use. You can put it by your feet if your feet are cold, put it on the floor and stand above it, and you're going to get heat coming all the way above or put it in between your legs or something. As long as it's a safe distance, I wouldn't put it on high and put it between your legs with waders. Um, the neoprene tends to burn a little bit. So, but it's pretty straightforward. You've got this cheap plat or cheap metal here that we'll see how it withstands. I can't imagine that it's going to take a great fall or the plastic. It's still plastic, pot metal on the sides, a like steel grate or cheap metal grate, whatever that is. But if you're not abusing it, then it's going to last you and work pretty well for you. So let's take it outside and do some tests. So say we have it on the back of the truck pretty common thing. You go to grab it and your hand slips. Off it goes. Now it's just on the grass, nothing crazy, you know, but what if we did it on the pavement? Everything seems to be fine, just a little scratched up. Looks pretty good though. So, Simple falling off the back of the truck, it seems to be all right. Let's go to something else. All right, now the next question is, how does it do when it gets wet? Will it light back up? Is it gonna take a while for it to light back up? You know, say you're fishing or something and then somebody just into the drink. Let's see what happens. So honestly, that, that's that been sitting in there for a few minutes and because I had to go get my pole, so. Go ahead and let that drain a little bit. As you can probably tell by my outfit, uh, it's a different day. Um, after we kicked it into the pond, it took a long time to dry out. So I let it sit for about two days um, before I even tried to turn it back on again. After the first day, I kind of checked on it, but it was it was wet and then you could hear water coming out. So I flipped it over, let it drain out that way, let it sit in the sun for a while, let it sit here in the in the shop. And we're gonna see if it starts up today. It should, um, but let's see. And I know we had knocked on the, the threads a little bit here. It was took the first time we put it in to screw or tried to screw this propane tank in. Um, it took a minute to get it in. I don't think that's actually the Mr. Heater here, I think it's the threads on the propane tank. Cause I tried a different propane tank and uh, it screwed right on. Even though still catching a little bit of trouble with it. Hold on. Add some pressure and she's on. Okay. Okay. Now, again, hit the pilot light. See if we get a flame. There it goes. Flames on, hold pilot light for a little bit. 
then we can switch it over to low and it's catching on. So after two days of drying out, it's working again, which is great. That's what you want to see. Personally, I know from my own experience that I have taken that out and left it in the boat overnight and it's rain or even freeze uh, when it gets really low temperatures. And it, it took a minute for it to start up, but I haven't had any issues with it. So that's from my personal use. I can tell you that if you leave it out in the rain or if you kick it into a pond, which the pond is, it was probably about two foot down fully submerged. So it still works. Still works pretty good, you know, no damage to it. Kick it on up to high. I think I turned it off there. Kick it up to high. And she's roaring. So, it dries out. That was good. Um, today is raining here, so I have some supplemental footage of another Mr. Heater that I personally owned that I went ahead and took out while this was drying so that we could still film some stuff. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And now those are pretty abusive and that's the whole point of this is see what this can handle. Can it handle being kicked in a pond or dropped in a lake? Sure. However, I'll mention that they do not float. So if you kick it in there and it falls in, you better get it quickly because it's going to go to the bottom. Just a side note there. So it can handle that. It can handle some rain. It can handle freezing. Um, I had, Like I said, I left it in the boat a few times and it's rained on it. It's been freezing temperatures and it starts right up. No problems. Fully submerged. You might need to let it dry out a few days. Okay. Right? Um, the other footage I have of me throwing it around, me tripping and tossing it, it did a little extra damage to it. And we'll see if it works off that. So let's turn this one off and I'll show you the other one. So as you can see, we've got some damage to the plastic here, you know, and in fact, it's just holding on by a little bit there. So we'll get rid of that. All right. So let's see if this bad boy works. This side's still fully good. Um, the back of the metal here, you can see it's kind of pushed out here. It's damaged quite a bit, but the whole point is to see if it still works after being tossed around, you know? So let's take this propane tank off, slap it on this one, and see what we got. All right. Let's see what this does. Oh, pilot light's on. Don't see any flare ups. Put it on low. And she's lit. Even after some tossing in the air, throwing it on the ground, slamming it, she's pretty good. You know, I'm still going to take this out, still going to use it. Um, I don't see any problem with it, really, other than the fact that it's all broke up. With that in mind, pilot stays lit if you turn it to pilot. Turn it off there. The Mr. Heater. In my opinion, this is a great product. Um, they're simple, they're easy, they're portable. You can keep them inside, you can keep them outside. Uh, and you can have two or three of them sitting in your boat. If you have multiple people going hunting, if you're ice fishing, it's good for an enclosed space. If you're in a hut or something, not the best for being outside in open air. Uh, if you're going to stand right over top of it, stand right against it, next to it, you're going to get some heat off it. Otherwise, these small portable ones, they don't put off a bunch of heat. You're not going to have they're not going to have the same amount of heat coming off the front of it like you would want from like a sunflower heater, one that's going to blow onto you and spread a lot of heat out and disperse it. This is going to go straight up. So if you got an open hole in your duck blind, it's going to go out. So you might want to put it underneath something. Um, but with that, you got to be careful because the flame will catch um, any grass or anything like that. Overall, great product. Something you should look into. They're not very expensive. Um, I think they retail for about $86, $85, something like that. And even throwing around this, this cage, I mean, it's a little loose compared to this one, which is a little tighter. Uh, but it, it withheld, you know, being thrown around. It's, it's, this has been, 
I've had this one for two seasons, duck hunting in the cold, the wet, the rain, everything, and hasn't let me down. Obviously, this one is new, but fully submerged in a pond is good to go. All in all, this is a wonderful product, and I think if you're wanting a heater for your boat, camping, whatever it may be, I wouldn't put these in a tent simply because if it gets too hot and your plastic starts to melt, you can't really blame the heater for that because you're in an enclosed space in a nylon tent. Keep that in mind, but overall, wonderful products. Mr. Heater, um, this is the portable buddy, um, as you can see from this box here. $85, good investment, good to have on hand, good to have in the house. Lose power, you've got a little bit of a heat source, you can put it in a bedroom, um, and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoy, I hope this was informative to you if you've been looking around trying to decide whether or not you want to get a Mr. Heater, Mr. Mud Buddy. Um, and if maybe we'll experiment with the larger models another time. Enjoy. Stick around, like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see us review, and we'll get them in and we will format them a little bit and see how they hold up. Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed.